Hi there, let's get to it. Earlier on, we looked at a function called archiving. It put all of your materials into one place and allowed you to access them at a later time. The only downside is that you had to have DaVinci Resolve if you wanted to open up this archived project, and it didn't perform consolidation, which is where only the parts of your media that you're actively using in your timeline get saved. So media management is exactly that. What we use the media management function for will be to hand projects over to other DaVinci Resolve users, to hand projects over with an EDL to be opened in another application, like another NLE. It is also to simplify the project for yourself if you're working with a lot of footage and a lot of different hard drive and media sources. The way to do this is just as simple as archiving. Inside of the edit page, you can select either the clips or the timeline that you want to consolidate click on File and select Media Management. You can choose to consolidate the entire project and all of the associated timelines, use just the current selected timeline, or even go after individual clips. Let's say we want to pack up the entire project and put it onto a new location where we can access all of the media regardless of where it originally came from. You can choose to make a copy of every single file in this new location. Um, you could choose to move, and the upside to this is that you won't require additional storage space. Or you could choose to transcode, and what this means is that you will be copying your media but into a different video format and codec. I'm going to choose copy because I will want all of my media to stay the same, after which I have to specify a media location. So I'll send this into my exports. You can copy your media, you can copy only the used media, which I think is quite nice. Of course, if you have alternative takes, or if you want to change your edit somehow, you're going to be limited to what you've already used. And what's perhaps even more limiting, but even more compact, is the ability to trim only the media that you're using and copy that. It's always a good idea, if you do this, to include frame handles, which is bits of media on either side of your edit point that will allow you to continue rolling your edits or introducing transitions without issue. There's a few more options you can reveal underneath. Consolidating multiple edit segments refers to multiple edits in your timeline being derived from the same media file. So let's say there's a two minute take and I've used three portions out of it. Instead of trimming that down three times, I could just uh, transfer the entire two minute segment across. I could choose to preserve the folder hierarchy, which might be a good idea if you've got a very specific way of handling your raw and consolidated media. And you can choose to relink to the new files immediately so that next time you start up the project, it's good to go. At the bottom, I can see what my anticipated size will be for this copied project. If you've made an edit and you want to send someone an EDL of your project and all the original materials, you can click on the Timeline option, select Copy, once again specify your destination. You can choose to include additional timelines in case you have multiple versions or scenes that you want to send and you're recommended to send trimmed media because usually after the editor is done with the project there's no further editing on a collaborator's end. Transcoding is a pretty good idea if you're handling a lot of different media file types and you want everything to become uniform. So in that case, you will have additional video options that allow you to specify exactly what you want to send. So I might choose to send something out as a DNxHD MXF file. Make sure that your resolution matches and that you select the appropriate bit depth. And I'm going to click Start now that I'm ready. And we'll take a look at the final result when it's finished. So now the process is over, I can open up this folder that I sent everything to and all of my media is now in one location. I can now access the same timeline in my media pool. Right click, Timelines, Export, AAF XML EDL. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to send it to the same location, and now it appears over here. So now I can send this entire folder to someone and know that they'll be able to launch this XML file on their program and be able to reconnect to all of the relevant media. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time!